Hi folks and welcome to Mr. Herbert's Science Class. I'm Dave Herbert. Today I'm going to answer a question about the Firebird Phantom that a lot of people have asked me. And that is, will a LiPo battery work in here versus the stock nickel metal hydride battery? So let's find out because there's a difference of a whole volt between those batteries. So let's go ahead and give it the test and see what happens. Okay, let's take a look at the batteries. Right now I'm charging my lithium ion cell, the one I'm going to use on my Triton charger. And it's uh, a battery that I got from Tannic Packs. Uh, I've had this for quite a while, it works really great. It's 780 milliamp and 7.4 volt versus the stock battery that comes with the Firebird Phantom which is a 300 milliamp um, 8.4 volt so what I'm gonna do is answer the question that everybody's asked me will the lipo work in there with the less voltage and uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that right now by the way I could not find a a plug anywhere the exact same as this plug so that I could make a battery pack this is just something I can't seem to find in any of the hobby stores even to carry these uh, and when I bought this spare battery actually one of the lugs is was broken off and uh, I had I took it anyway anyway it still works that way uh, let's go ahead and see what the difference is in the weight to start with okay on my gram scale what I'm doing with the stock battery with the connector on it that I uh, put on a uh, super connector uh, this weighs out at almost 55 grams so let's see what the Tanix battery pack weighs okay the lipo weighs in at Fifty-eight. So this is three grams heavier than the stock battery pack. So let's see how we can go ahead and mount it and give it a try. Okay, since there's not quite enough room inside for the lipo battery. I've made an adapter plug using one of the stock plugs that I cut off the battery and the receptacle to my uh, high power plug and I'm going to mount that battery right here on the side with this velcro. Okay here's the question about the tannic pack or lipo pack uh, and I'm going to plug this in right here with this connector so that's where that goes a high power connector and I've mounted the battery right here on the side as you can see and uh, this is just for test purposes and I've flown my video camera over there plenty of times so I know this will fly okay if it flies at all because of the lower voltage will the receiver know it's a lipo and shut off the engine in time so that you wouldn't lose it or is it going to be um, automatic and uh, won't matter anyway with the one volt less how well will it actually fly and two because it is almost three times more milliamps, will it fly three times longer? So let's take it out and give it a try, folks. All right, we're ready to test the LiPo and uh, see how it goes. So. Uh...
<laughs> All right, I'm going to put the hat cam on and we're going to go together. And for those who asked about my hat cam, this is the way I mount my little iTech pocket cam on my bill. It's wedged on and bolted, and then I have a strap on the back that connects to the belt so it holds the hat down in the back and doesn't tip over. Okay, let's go fly. Jeff's got his ready to go. I've got the hat cam on. I've got mine on with the lipo. I've already gone around it a couple of times. So let's uh watch the streamer there. Let's take off and see what happens here and see who who runs the longest. You ready? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> we'll keep it tight up here. <laughs> the boat wide open, folks. Woo! mine at the top. Jeff's behind me. I'm going to make a turn around here. Here we go. That's mine right there running on the lipo. Jeff is up high. And now he's looping and I'm just cruising. Okay, Jeff's down and my lipo is still going. So bring it around and land and if you can kick up the other camera, we'll see how long I can go. Mind your shut off! <laughs> <laughs>